Excuse me, Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Daddy? Sorry. D I'm sorry. Daddy? Bye. Okay, let's read that caption. When they grab you by the hips and whisper in your ear, take it like... And your response to that is uh, saying daddy like a broken record. Your childhood must have been different. If men can't even control themselves seeing women in skirts, who let them control whole countries? Women did. No, seriously, women did. And I've already covered this topic, but hey, I don't mind doing it again. You see, in Western democratic countries, women outnumber men. That means more votes are cast by women than votes that are cast by men. And if men are constantly elected into positions of power in these countries more than women are, that means women predominantly vote for men. Logic is awesome, am I right? <laughs> Still don't believe me? Let's look at the 2020 presidential election. There were quite a few female candidates. The ones I remember are Kamala Harris, who dropped out before the primaries. There was Amy Klobuchar, Tulsi Gabbard, and Elizabeth Warren. Nobody voted for them. But who did the people vote for? Well, let me refresh your memory. The man who is Jill's husband. The man who was Obama's vice president. The man with hairy legs that turn, that, that, that turn blonde in the sun. The man who will lead an effective strategy to mobilize to an end and after after the pressure. The man who is the most successful president in galactic history. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. By the way, we don't need to revisit the 2016 election now, do we? Didn't think so. Not all men, right? Please explain to us how we're supposed to know the difference. Sincerely, we don't care. It has recently come to my attention that men are way more clueless about how women date than I originally thought. Uh, we date in rules of three. The most important rule of three is the most basic. It's called the third date rule. If you've never heard of the third date rule, here you go. Women will not have with you until the end of the third date. Sweetie, I have personally gotten laid on the first date several times. And most of the times, the women wanted it more than I did. But by all means, continue the cringe. If you go on three dates and the end of the third date it went well, she's probably wearing a matching set and then will uh, escalate the relationship. If she did not, then she won't, and you're not getting date number four. Actually, if she's using you for your money, you'll get to date number 40. What you're not gonna get is access to the cooch. But guys, there's a thing to the three-date rule, actually. You can apply it to women that you're vetting for something more long-term. If by the third date you didn't get the smash, though, don't waste your time. Working for it was a thing in the 1950s, not 2022. And before you spend more time or money on her, you need to know if the bedroom fun is actually worth it. But real talk, you need to know precisely what you want from a woman. If you want something serious, then for your own sake, spend the time to vet her and take her on the three dates. However, if you just want to smash on the first date, which is perfectly fine, and she doesn't want to give it to you, well, you're under no obligation to give her whatever she wants. So, don't get angry, don't get bitter, don't even talk to her anymore. Where one woman says no, another woman will say yes. And that's the bottom line, cause don't go sit so.